What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week six of season four of the GBA. Uh, we are up against Miguel and the Real Maril this week. And this is a rematch of week two where he beat me pretty soundly. Um, I've adjusted my team a little bit to counter some of his threats. I'm still really nervous, though. We're going to see what he ends up bringing. We're about to hit that challenge button. Um, yeah, you know, really worried. He's a very, very good battler, a very good friend of mine. We're going to see how this ends up going. I tried challenging him once before and accidentally hit OU, so I hit custom game this time and hopefully everything should be fixed. So, um, whew, here come the deep breaths, deep breaths. It's a little bit late, um, scheduling is really hard, but here we go. So he did end up bringing the floor just, that was one of the things I was curious about. He did not end up bringing Mega Low Punny though, which is really interesting. So, uh, looking at this, his wall core, he did end up bringing, bringing a rapid spinner in, um, and Tentacruel. Uh, we have spike options in this gentleman here. We have U-turn options here and here, and a Volt Turner here. The fact that he brought um, Thunderous makes me believe that he's probably going to potentially lead with it. So I had an idea in mind that I would lead Politoed against his Victini. If he ends up leading with Thunderous, I am in a little bit of a little bit of trouble here. So I'm a little worried about that. But it's not the end of the world. I can switch into Gudra if that scenario comes up and I can get the uh, I can get the rain up with dollar bills. So let's do that. Let's lead with dollar bills as I had originally said I was going to and let's just hope he leads with Victini. Let's hope he leads with Victini like he did last time. And then everything could uh, could feasibly work out for us here. And we're going to tell him, send him a little heart in chat there. He does leave for Tini. This is the situation I was hoping for, guys. I'm going to go for the Scald here. I don't think, you know what, the thing is that he might be Scarf, but I'm going to go for the Scald. I don't think he's going to see it coming that I'm Scarf and will outspeed him. And I hope he doesn't have so much physical or defensive investment that he survives this. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Choice scarfed. Dollar bills. Yes! Oh, oh yes. Oh. <laughs> the choice scarf. Dollar bills. Takes out Victini. Turn one, baby. Yes! Choice scarf. Dollar bills. Victini's down, guys. We're off to a really good start. Turn one. Victini dead. Ah. Behind me, we'll see my beautiful girlfriend trying to sleep. I'm going to be keeping her awake. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got this. I got such a great start here. Whew. Whew. I love it when those first turn predictions come through for you. You know, that was huge for me. So he's going to end up going into Hail Hydra. And of course, there's not a whole lot of safe switch-ins for me here. Um, I'm sure one of the things he was considering is what, what he can do that could potentially KO me. So I'm gonna review my little chart here. I didn't do the calcs for this one. So I did not, I did not pre-calculus this one. <laughs> Let's go Hydreigon um, versus Politoed Choice Scarf. And uh, Draco will one-shot me, and there's not anyone who really wants to take it. There's no one here who wants to take a Draco. So one of the things I could do is just hope to get some damage on this guy, staying in Scald. That really limits my potential to sweep with Ultron, though. It really, really does. So uh, potentially I could switch into Swampert here. But I can't one-hit KO him, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think he can one-hit KO me either, even with Draco. I'm pretty sure he'll go for Draco. Do I really just want to... Uh, because I'm not going to have my full defenses. I'm not fully evolved yet. I can't really let Dollar Bills go down. This is a problem. But we can't do a one-for-one -one trade right here. Bunny Sword could, what, take one hit, but that's it, pretty much. Um, 
man, because I could KO him back if I came in on the on the flat switch. So now the question is, who do I want to take this? And it might be Scizor, and he might predict that and go for an HP fire, but that's just gonna be that's just gonna be something I have to. That's gotta be something I, I take here. What can Scizor do to him? Um, against Hydreigon. Scizor, you know what, I really, I don't have a lot of options here. I really don't. Scizor would be really helpful against several of the Pokemon, namely those, but there's also a lot of Pokemon that resist him. So I'm going to switch into Proto here. So he goes for the Fire Blast, predicting it, and I lose Proto first turn. So he did predict that very well. Uh, that was a good move on his part. We can now switch into Ultron. Or Bunny Soar. Or Remix. <laughs> He's so big. So he has Hidden Power. Uh, Hidden Power Grass. He's got Dragon Rush to take out the Bunny Soar. He's got Charge Beam to try and set up all over my face. So now we see that. Um, man. So he did predict that Proto. That's a good prediction on his part. He doesn't even have Dark Stab. He doesn't have it at all. Now he could switch into Floor just here. He could go for Dragon Rush against me. I don't have a great answer for uh, for Floor just anymore, but Floor just isn't going to be the toughest Pokemon in the world to take out. Let's see, let's switch into, uh... What do I think he'll go for? Dragon Rush? I think he's switching into Florges. So, let's switch into Ultron here. There's the switch into Florges. Now I can Mega Evolve. And, uh... And get that Mega Evolution off on Florges, and I can go for a Waterfall in the Rain, hitting for about 62 or so percent. He could switch into Chestnut here, which he may do, but I need to get the Mega Evo off. I need as many turns in the Rain with Ultron as possible. He's contemplating. He's gonna stay in, it looks like. He's gonna go for Grass Knot. He's gonna outspeed <laughs> me. Wow. Okay. Shoot, did not see that one coming. <laughs> this is a very punch for punch kind of battle, and now actually I think I'm I'm really in trouble here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's bad. <laughs> really bad. So I'm down two. He's down Kanichiwa. Oh boy. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's get Remix in again and see this guy's set. Uh, we're gonna see Hidden Power, probably Fire. We've got Wish, Grass Knot, and Moon Blast. Hmm. Might end up going for the Wish or something. That's not. I mean, he's got nothing here, pretty much, to hit Bunny Sword. Oh, he has Moon Blast. Duh. Uh, let's go for a Wish. He might go for a Wish. Also, no, he's gonna switch into Kenny. As I go for the Wish, the rain ends, and now I could switch into uh, someone to take. He might go for setting up. Let's see. Let's just bring in Electivire here. 
Man, just getting... There was one hit KOs this match. There's the sludge bomb, and uh, he gets the poison, because why not? And let's see. We're gonna go for... We could go for the Thunder Punch here. We could also go for the Earthquake. It's likely gonna switch. <laughs> I'm in I'm in a horrible position right now. I've lost Ultron and Proto. Both of those were my sweepers, and Viral just got poisoned. So I'm not in a great spot. Thunder Punch... Earthquake, neither of which are going to do a lot against uh, against Thunderous, who is a fair, a good switch in option. Hydreigon's also a good switch in option. Kenny's not staying in. Ice Punch is going to be super effective against these three here. Um, do I want to overpredict that right now? I think I need to. Yeah, I think I need to. Let's go for the Ice Punch here. He's going to switch out into Kellum. We're going to get a super effective Ice Punch off. And then we're going to go for the Hidden Power Flying and scout to see whether or not he has the, uh, the Flying Resist Berry anymore. I really think he does. I saw him bring it last match. My prediction is that he does have the uh, HP Flying Resistance there on Kelam. And I'm hoping this will take him out. Fingers crossed. Even with that berry proc, but uh, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking probably not. But let's see, let's see what he ends up going for here. Man, I kind of. <sighs> he made a very good prediction about the switch into Scizor. I shouldn't have done that. I should have been playing it smarter. The thing is, I didn't want to lose Politoed because I was scared of losing Swampert, but I didn't end up. I could have thought those moves those moves through a little bit. We get the super effective. He does have the berry. He's going to get the seed bomb off. Not kill me, but the poison will get close to it. Um, now what we can see is that... Ice Punch did 39%, so I can... Uh, he could go for a spiky shield and wait for me to die for poison. So if he's going to go for spiky shield... Um... I get the opportunity here to switch into Bunny Sore. Who else will Viral outspeed? Because he's definitely going for Spiky Shield here. I don't really need the rain anymore. Let's get Bunny Sore in here. There's the Spiky Shield. It fails. Uh, I could go for... He doesn't know that I don't have Ice Beam. Ice Beam is super effective against three of his Pokemon, and I'm realizing now... Why did I bring Flamethrower? Shoot. I didn't bring Ice Beam. That's literally three Pokemon that Ice is super effective against, and I didn't bring it. Um, uh, this is a good switch in for him. Uh, but this is a more likely switch in for him. So let's go for Sludge Bomb, which is super effective against both. There's Kenny. So that was a great switch on his part. Um, and we will switch into... Switch into Ditto here. As he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb, which I resist. We see Rapid Spin, Scald... Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb. So we can't get the poison here. We could both fish for burns on one another. We could do that. I wouldn't mind burning anyone on this team, to be honest. We know that he doesn't have um, Natural Cure on his Florgis, so status would be good. So now I'm a little bit, oh man, I should have seen the grass not coming. I, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about it. That was a big misplay on my part. Nimbus comes in on the Scald. Please get the burn, no burn. 
I won't outspeed Nimbus. My H, my, <laughs> my speed, actually, you know what? I'm a choice scarfed. I'm a choice scarfed. Choice scarf tentacle rule. I'm pretty sure outspeeds Nimbus. And if I get a burn, I'll kill him. Will he kill me with Volt Switch? Let's Scald again. Get the burn, please. No burn. He gets the Volt Switch and takes me out. So I'm going to get a little bit... Oh, man. That's okay. Who's he going to choose to send in now? If it's anyone that I outspeed with the uh, baby. Hmm. Club baby. So we're starting, we're coming down to it again here, guys. Um, able to weaken a lot of his core. A lot of his Pokemon are very low health. 10% there, 20% there, 90% with Kenny. But unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can I can scoop up anything here. All I need to do is sit on his full health Hydra for a little while. And he will be set. So we know he has Moonblast for Bunny Sore. We know he has Wish on Flabebe. And we know that Viral has to revenge if he's going to do anything at all. So we're going to do this. And we're going to look and see where he hit neutral there, there, and there. Best option here. So I'm going to die this turn no matter what. We've got to go. Let's go for Ice Punch and hope for a freeze. Why not? So he stays in, takes a little bit of damage, gets his wish off, and I go down. Now let's bring in Bunny Sore. And now is he going to try and pass that wish? Or is he going to stay in with Flabebe and try and finish me off? Who wants that wish? Keyline probably wants it. Nimbus wouldn't mind it. Both of which would die to a Sludge Bomb. Which is super effective against him. Kenny doesn't need it. Hydreigon doesn't need it. So let's go for that Sludge Bomb. It's not going to kill him, obviously, and he's going to get 50% back. He doesn't quite do 50% with his Moonblast. He gets that 50% and a little bit more. We're going to go for another Sludge Bomb. Because he can't wish stall me at this point, so he's going to have to switch. It's either going to have to be this turn or next turn. Yeah, he's going to stay in and try and get that, uh... Can he go for another wish? So he can? What's he going... Wait, that only did 40? Oh, it's only doing 40, I see. Yeah, so this is a problem. This is a problem, but that's okay. We need a poison. We still don't get it. Still no poison. Let's do this. I don't think he's gonna wish here. Yeah, he went for the moon blast instead. Um, we're literally gonna lock ourselves into Endeavor here. How much health do I have left? What does it say? Okay, 100. So it's gonna do some damage to him. Let's just do it. Switches into Kenny. He takes an Endeavor, deals some damage. He'll outspeed Bunny Sore, unfortunately. I think this is the end here, guys. It's too bad, though. However, run, Giant Please. There's the Sludge Bomb, does some damage. So 
gonna put a sludge bomb again and take out Bunny Store. That's okay. Rain dish heals it. Dial Bills comes in, and that's a good game. Good game. Going for this for the burn here. We got it. Here's the Giga Drain. Gives a good amount of health back. That was a good game. Another 5-0 in favor of Miguel, but I did kill Victini, so. <laughs> You know, it could have gone, it could have gone a lot of different ways there. I think I made a lot of uh, gutsy plays at the beginning, but hey, good game, Miguel. And uh, Giant is take a loss, a very expected loss against one of the top contenders of the league. Uh, if you guys are GG, buddy, thanks, Miguel. Um, you guys, go check out Miguel's channel. Very talented battler, uh, one of the top threats to look out for this GBA in the GBA this season. Very powerful team, as you can see here. Not a whole lot I could do against it. Uh, brought a couple of key threats. Got a good few predictions early in the game, but unfortunately, difficult to take down that wall. And all of my all of my offensive threats were just really threatened. Uh, as you can see, all of his walls were able to pack things to pretty much just take me out. So. Good game, Miguel. I was hoping to make it a little less than a 5-0, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.